Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Treats are here in. Dragon ass Brad, take three. Take three. This is as good as it's going to get. And if it don't go this time, it's just not going to go. And you're just going to have to. Of course, you guys know we're one take wonders anyway. And, you know, if anybody doesn't like the fact that we don't edit, then just go on down the road. Because we, uh, we just do this for fun. Yeah. Anyway, um... It is, did I say it was November 21st yet? Uh, no, I didn't. It's November 21st, Monday afternoon. It is now 1.50 p.m. And um, the weather is, it is 62 degrees out. Real Phil is 62. The high will be 68, and the low will be 37. And it is a beautiful, sunshiny day. I was sitting out in the sun this morning. And I wear this this black. It's a, it's, it's a it's a really big shirt, and it's kind of out of the um um uh um long john material. Yeah. And I mean, if it's long sleeve neck, usually what I just throw on. Well, my dachshund decides she was cold, <laughs> right? So I lifted her up and put her on on the picnic table bench. Well, she's still shaking and stuff, and she wants over on my lap, so I. Put her on my lap. Well, she's still shaking. I can tell she's cold. So I put her up underneath my shirt, just like you would a baby. She had kind of a cocoon. She was just laying there snoring as, as happy as could be. She quit shaking, huh? Let me show you guys her. Let me show you the docks. There's little Missy Mama. Right, Missy Mama? Oh, no. But her was underneath my shirt, all snuggled up and happy. Every once in a while, she'd stick her nose out of the top of my shirt. Huh. She's such a baby, aren't you? So. She's, yeah, she's exhausted. Well, yeah, but how many times did she want to go out last night? Oh, yeah, a million. Yeah. A million times last night, that dog wanted to go out. And she just acted, she didn't have to do anything. She just kind of acted like yeah. social hour. Um, uh, let me, uh, let me, first, Brad worked yesterday. You guys know that he got off, no, uh, he got off about 3.30. He had to stay a little late. Um, and, uh, um, I had gone outside with the dogs. I didn't stay out too awfully long. I took them out myself. And, you know, I just take them one at a time and stuff. And then we were outside and I was doing some painting. But I didn't doubt too awfully long. It was kind of cold for me. Even though I had on that, that uh, shirt that I was talking about. Uh, so today when I go out and paint, I'm going to move over into the sunshine. Um, you know, I really love that. And um, uh, so I'm, I'm working on a couple of paintings, which, which are turning out kind of cool, mm -hmm. and um, then um, when uh, Brad got off work and stuff, we took naps, of course, you know, after he ate and stuff, and then I made, uh, we had um, another package of the boneless, skinless chicken breast left, and I cut those into strips and made uh, uh, chicken fingers, Brad absolutely loved them. Yeah. And then we made some instant potatoes and fresh vegetables with it. It was all very good. Um, well, your chicken, your chicken strips, chicken fingers, whatever you want to call them, they are so much better than the. Well, thank you. Than the ones you know, like if you go to the store and buy the cooked up ones. Or, yeah, you yeah. Know. You know, and you can get four really nice chicken strips off of one breast. Yeah. So when you do the math, it really does not cost that much. Well, that, and it's not hard to do. Well, that package of chicken breasts that you did, um, yeah, buck ninety nine a pound, and we got four chicken breasts for ten dollars. That was six. What? Was it six? Yeah, because that's the second package we've used now. Okay, I thought we only had... Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, in that one place we stopped at and got the chicken tenders a while back, for eight tenders, it was 12 bucks. And that was no sides or anything. That was and just a tender. No, and it was salty, too. Yeah. 
<clears throat> so I made those, and then it got cool enough last night, we had to turn our heater on. We only turned it up 65, and that was enough to take the chill off and stuff. Uh, we have it off now, window open again, but, yeah, for us, it got cool. Um, and, in fact, I had Brad bring in my, my, asked him to bring in my paints, because I was a little afraid of them. It was supposed to get to freezing, but I was just a little worried, I don't know. I have a lot of money invested in my paints and stuff, and I don't want to have to replace all of them. So, you know, it's easy to bring them in and out. Yeah. So, um, and then, yeah, it was my TV night. I like to watch that 90 uh, Days uh, Fiance. Uh, so, I was watching that, and so then Brad was on the computer. I don't even know, did you watch a movie, or did you, I don't even know what you were watching. I was watching um, Luke Cage. It's oh, you were watching Netflix? On Netflix, yeah. Okay, so I wasn't sure what you were watching. Yeah, it's not too bad. So, and then I made some um, sugar-free uh, banana uh, nut bread. And that turned out pretty good, didn't it? Yes, it turned out you very, know. very good. I did put an extra egg in it, which I'm glad I did. But you got to get used to. This toast oven has a convection setting. We're not used to the fan, and it made... <laughs> made a wave. <laughs> made a wave on the top of this banana bread. That was funny. Brad pulled it out and it's all like waved. I'm like, what? I've never seen banana bread like that. Or, you know, and he's like, it's a, it's a convection part. It's the fans. It's like, okay, uh, it was very good. Um. So then I went. I've been going to bed early. I went to bed at two. You know. Oh, that's a. I thought it was a a hair. It's the cord. I thought with a hair on my camera, huh? <laughs> so, um, like I said, Brad's off today. So we went into town and got mail. I had ordered no, him in no. that pair of work pants I told you guys about. Were you going to try those on? I am. Um, after I eat. Yeah. And um, so I think he's very happy with them. They're new with tags and stuff. Um, and then also, this is how we order in our leave. We have um. There's a seller on eBay that actually lives here in the same state. And I think it's like $16.99, which is a good price for these. There's 400 caplets of the um, naproxen sodium we leave. We use this a lot, especially Brad. Have you taken any today, honey? Not yet. And I'm wait till I eat first. Okay, but can you take Oh, yes, the I did. I took my morning Can meds. you take the bottle anyway? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Can you just take the bottle? Take the damn bottle. Well, now. usually you take the, you usually have the bottle over there. Yeah, I know. Um, but I, I like to make sure we have a plenty on hand. Uh, you know, because he does use that all the time. Um, and the only other thing I got in was I finally got in my makeup brushes, and I'll get these out to show you guys. Um. I ordered these. They were, I think it was $3.99 for this whole set. Free shipping. Anything usually I order is got free shipping. That Elise, that was $16.99 free shipping. The pants was not free shipping, but when you factored in the shipping, it was still a very good price. So, let me see what that Oh, because that one's good. Two. So, these are the makeup brushes that I got. And I just got these for obviously for my eyeshadow and eyeliner because I was looking like me, at Walmart and stuff and I was not happy with the quality and versus the price and I know I probably could have gone to Dollar Tree but again the quality I'm kind of picky about brushes I wonder why I'm an artist um but uh so, and I just wanted some nice uh, brushes to be able to use. I prefer to put my eyeshadow on with brushes over um, over uh, the, the classic um, eyeshadow. Um, and one of the tricks, if you want to get your eyeshadow to stick a little bit better and go on a little bit easier, is to wet your brush just a little bit right before you, you put it, dip it into the eyeshadow. And it will go on. And stay on a lot better. I'll have to try that. You will. That's a, tr a tip. Yep. Mm. You will have to try that. 
So, yeah. and when I do eyeshadows and stuff, to put the eyeshadow on, I classically will use this type of a brush for the base. And then for in the creases and stuff, I love to use this type. You know, the only time I'll use the disposable or did use the disposable type of the eyeshadow um, uh, swabs is when I was doing makeup on other people as a cosmetologist, then yes. You know, or or what you would do is have about four sets of makeup brushes so you could clean in between clients, you know, and sanitize. So, anyway, I got those in. I'm happy about them. I had some makeup brushes, but I think I gave them to my granddaughter. You know, I'm not sure why, but I think she fell in love with them or something. So, mm -hmm. um, Well, and how many bottles of nail polish did you give her? I gave her over half. Yeah. But, you know, I had so much and stuff, and I, I condensed everything down, So, which I'm glad because, you know, don't stockpile your makeup. Either use it or get rid of it or give it away, you know, if it's somebody that you know well because that stuff does go bad. It does get old. I mean, some of the powders and stuff don't, but if it's liquid-based and, like, your fingernail polishes and stuff, well, hi, Angel. How are you today? Hi, my kitty kitty. Everybody probably wants to see you, too. Yes, it's a kitty kitty. She sure has been a love bug lately. She slept on me all night long. What was up with that? No, she came out and slept on me for a while. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, okay. You want to check her food, honey? Oh, what? What? I know. You're oh, an old girl, still too. Good shape. Okay, you're an old girl, too, aren't you? She doesn't look like it. No, she's 15. But you know, cats live a long time. Yes, they do. Our cats do anyway, but yes. they stay indoors. Yes, they, do. they stay indoors. Yeah, it could be a hard world out there, huh? What? Oh, I know. She got the yellow eyes. Don't you Brad. Oh, that's Brad, you know, remodeling the inside. I could just fix this and not have to lean down here to talk to you guys. I could raise it. <laughs> well, I am a special kind of a nanny. So, <laughs> let me go back to, we got the mail. We drove around a little bit, looked at a few houses that were listed for sale. We didn't, we haven't contacted anybody and stuff. Um, then I went, watered outside. Uh, like I said, all my plants are doing fantastic. Our plants. Our plants. Yeah, our plants. Uh, and then I plan on painting this afternoon. Um, and then coming in and taking my traditional nap. And then Brad's going to make spaghetti tonight while I clean house. And tonight is another TV night for me. Woohoo! <laughs> that means another computer night for him. So, I have two topics here. We did make a, a budget, or make a list. I made a list last night of Christmas gifts for, you know, that didn't include Brad and I, um, and uh, the cost of it. And then we talked about it, and, you know, Brad, oh, that was fine with stuff. But I still felt like we were spending a little too much because we pay cash for everything we get for Christmas, and we always have Two things I think can really start your new year off crappy is being so burdened with you had all these credit cards to pay off and then also being hung over. So I cut that down to a reasonable amount, you know, which was easy, easy to do, you know, spending 10 less here, 10 less there and stuff. To, to something that we were more comfortable with. And then, and so we discussed budget and stuff and who, who we were going to get, uh, what we were going to get for who, and the supplies I needed to still get to pay some gifts. I have some gifts made, of course, um, you know. And were you going to get mine, too? Oh, I thought you were going to wait till after your video. About that. Oh, okay. Um, and, uh... Got that all planned, um, and we discussed what we would like for Christmas, and we both would like a um, uh, fishing pole in real combo that's made for uh, 
because fishing here is a lot different than in Wyoming. Yeah. Fishing at, on the sea, in the sea, is a lot different than fishing, yeah. you know. So, um, we did all that. And then we also would like, maybe, if we if we aren't able to get our grill uh, oh. cleaned up and stuff, to get a new one of those, you know, one of the tabletop ones. They're only about $30. It was free shipping on eBay. I looked it up. So, um, uh, we're going to make um, uh, our own oven cleaner here at home. And it just called for some dish soap and like a cup and a half of baking soda and some white vinegar and enough water to make a paste. And you just spread it on uh, for six to eight hours. And then you clean it off. And I liked it a lot better than the chemicals they use in in uh, the commercially made and all the ammonia. So, um, let me take that home. Um, so, we're going to be doing that. But let's ask Bradley real quick about what it was like to walk both big dogs Holy together crap. this morning like you decided to do. Holy crap. Well, Charlie weighs about 120 pounds. 150? No, he's about 120. 150. No, okay, we'll stick with your story. How about 135? Okay. We'll compromise. We'll split the difference. And <laughs> Nixie weighs about 40, 45 pounds. And I haven't walked them in a couple of weeks because just Didn't because of the so schedule. And, and, and I can't. And, yeah, and uh, holy crap, when they both when they both decide to split... You know, one goes one direction, one goes another. You know, now my knuckles drag on the ground. <laughs> and uh, I got to really, I got to watch them close because if they decide to take off, I got to plant or else they're going to pull. And they pulled me over before um, when we were. That, no, that would be rude. That one place where we camped out, spent the night before we on our way down here. In Tennessee. Was that in Tennessee? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. And. They ended up putting me flat on my back, and I'm not used to that. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, I, I, I hear them first, and then I see them, and so I have to call Charlie. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he's, you know, pulling Brad. I noticed you did that. But, you know, Aaron, since I haven't walked them in a while, they're... Leash behavior, leash etiquette, leash... Is is gone. Yeah. They were just so excited to get going. Yeah, and they like, were. Holy crap. They were demanding that they were going to be walked. Yeah. So... And it's a good thing I'm a big guy, because... Oh, yeah. If I was a little guy, yeah, they would have been dragging me across the oh, road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's all we really got going on in the neighborhood. I'll tell you what. No offense to anybody, but we were driving around and whoa, there's a definite inbreeding in some of these neighbors, neighborhoods. Like we saw one trailer house, and of course, this is it's about as redneck and hillbilly as you could get. We heard the song of deliverance being played out of this trailer. The trailer door is wide open. There is about three, four women and about. 20 kids. Mm -hmm. It was just it's like, wow. You know, one thing, and we're not we're not saying that we're better than everybody else or no, we anybody ain't. else, and we're, we're not. You know, but one of the things we always heard in when we were in Wyoming was, you know, especially me working in the store, there's all these people talking about the lack of culture in Wyoming. And we're moving to Florida. And we I thought... We thought we were going to be backwards country yeah. bumpkin. And we are moving to Florida, and I thought, yeah, we're going to be the the redneck hillbillies down there. No. Um, but one thing I will say about these people is I have met so many incredibly wonderful people that will bend over backwards. They will do anything for you. They'll help you out. They're very, very friendly. Yeah. Well, well I'm, I'm getting as mo there's no real pretenses for the most part. You can usually tell somebody is not from this area because that's when they're trying to put on airs. Um, you know, but yeah, I mean, such a friendly bunch of people. Mm -hmm. and, 
and stuff. I mean, you yeah. know. And of course, like anywhere you live, I met a few assholes. Oh, sure. But they're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere, yeah. But, but for the most part, I really, really like the people around here. I do. I do. And it's starting to feel more like home. Mm-hmm. We've had more... We've had nicer things happen and nicer people than we've had in years. So, you mm-hmm. know. But anyway, I'm going to get off here so I can eat my lunch. Uh-huh. So, um... Uh, I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. I am going to sit down probably tomorrow night and answer comments seriously because um, uh, I don't know if I will tonight or not. I've been going to bed earlier. I'm really involved in a a book I'm reading on my Kindle. You know, so I look forward to kind of crawling in bed and tuning the world out and reading and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. I didn't do any looming yesterday either, so. You know, so anyway, uh, and I think you guys are all awesome. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.